Yeah? Good? All right, everyone. Yeah, that was just for getting your attention. <laughs> so, but I thought everybody has to see them. <laughs> it's the marine iguanas. A little crazy. Um, yes, that was that. Um, I'm talking about multiple columns today. It's a design feature, actually, that um, it's like an InDesign. You have the text flowing from one column to the next. And uh, yeah, it works like this, that it, uh, you just put in one text, like in your WordPress editor, which only has one column, and then it puts the text into separate columns. So the text goes like this. And it works really well in InDesign for designing, and um, that's, um, yeah, I always wanted it to work, and uh, it's now the time that it's working on most browsers. It's uh, in the support for uh, IE10, and the other ones uh, are also supported. You have to uh, prefix it a little bit, uh, so that it works in about 95%. But it also um, um, degrades gracefully. That means if, you, um, if the browser doesn't understand the, the command of the columns, then it's just one column. So it gets... An, I know it does get a little bit weird then because you have one long column and the readability is not that good anymore, but um, it works really nice and you can make nice layouts. And in this, um, in, in this one, I made five columns and uh, it's also very responsive. You just have to put in, say, uh, you want five columns and then you want a space in between and then you have five columns. And then when you put responsive, it just switches because you also say, okay, it has to be 200 pixels wide, and then it changes. So then it's three, two, and one in the end. So it's very responsive and works very well. And um, I just wanted to make uh, designers and front-end developers uh, aware of this, that you can use this now and use it for your layouts and make the web a little more exciting and nice to look at. You have to, of course, um, um, look at some things, it's, uh, for example, um, uh, it's quite easy to, to uh, make. In the first one, you just say um, five columns, uh, 200 pixels wide. That's like after 200 pixels, it changes to four, to three, to one. And uh, then you say, um, and can you say the, the column width and uh, the, the gap? The gap is the space in between the columns. And uh, yeah, that's all you need actually to uh, produce this little thing. Um, there are a couple of problems, such as um, you usually in your uh, browser you have the the p tag, and uh, for the paragraph, and the paragraph always gets a padding on top and on bottom. And uh, if you if you don't put that on zero, I mean not on zero, the top padding on zero, uh, then the column starts a little later because there's a padding on top. So you have to think about that, but that's just little stuff that uh, any front-end developer uh, can make in five minutes. And uh, uh, yeah, there was the other, I tried the other one, wait, the other problem. The other problem you see here, so uh, when you have a paragraph that's ended here, it takes the, the, the padding on the bottom to the next page. So, um, yeah, that can be a little bit of a problem because that's very hard to uh, control. So, um, yes, you might have a little switch here and there, but uh, I, th I think uh, all in all, it's a nice design feature you can use and uh, make work. And, uh, yeah, also, yeah, it's all responsive, of course. And that's actually my little lightning talk. Because lightning. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, but I, I, I think since we still got a little time, I'll show you a project I'm working on right now that also has a nice little design feature. It's uh, this page I'm working on. And uh, yeah, that's just the. Uh, normal theme on first view, but uh, in responsive mode, the, uh, the menu button changes to the bottom. 
And it's because we all have uh, those big ass cell phones these days. It's really cool if you do designs with a button on the bottom because you can reach it far easier than having the people go uh, all the way up to the, to the menu button. And then it just pops up and then you have the Nice little design feature, which is also cool for your client to have a, a cool, unique page. Yeah, that's just a different one. All right, any questions? Oh, and uh, what you should also, uh, yeah, on can I use, it's really good. You have um, all the bugs, so there are still some bugs, and you should always prefix it because, uh, yeah, it just works better on the older browsers, of course. And um, yeah, not everything works in all browsers, but what I just showed you works in IE 10 plus and all the rest that you see here. So, oh yeah, there's one question. Uh, the what code? This one? Yeah, that's the, the whole code. <laughs> it's, I just put the, uh, the article tag around the, uh, around the text. And that's it. And then you have two paragraphs in there, and uh, that's all you need. So it's really easy to implement. <laughs> Top, bottom, <laughs> how do you need it? <laughs> so it doesn't need um, media queries uh, for account? No, okay. no media queries. It's really easy. It's really you can make you can make total responsive uh, layouts with this if you want to. Without media queries, huh? Yeah, then it changes from five to four. So it's like the maximum number of colors. Oh, you can put 20 if you want. But it, does, it has to fit, of course. That, yeah, if it doesn't fit, it, it won't work, right. Yeah. So you need a little bit of math, yeah? The, the, the gap, yeah, I haven't found a solution. If you, if you find a solution, please tweet me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I should, uh, uh, yeah. Please add me on Twitter. I'd be happy to hear from that. <laughs> All right, any more questions? All right. Then guys, have fun and uh, see you all at the party. Bye-bye.